In November 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope, operated by NASA, conducted observations of a colossal galaxy cluster known as Max J0138.02155. Max J0138.02155 is a galaxy cluster located in the constellation Fornax. It is part of the Massive Cluster Survey, MAX, which is a project that aims to study and catalog massive galaxy clusters using gravitational lensing. Galaxy clusters like MAX, J0138.02155, are interesting objects of study because they provide valuable insights into the large-scale structure of the universe as well as the distribution of dark matter. Gravitational lensing, which occurs due to the bending of light by the gravitational field of massive objects like galaxy clusters, allows astronomers to study and map the distribution of dark matter in these clusters. Utilizing the phenomenon of gravitational lensing, a prediction initially made by Albert Einstein, the distant galaxy MRG M0138 was observed to be distorted by the potent gravitational field of the intervening galaxy cluster. Remarkably, the gravitational lensing effect caused Max J1138 to generate five distinct images of MRG M0138, amplifying and warping its appearance. So what is gravitational lensing? Gravitational lensing is a phenomenon predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. It occurs when the gravitational field of a massive object, such as a galaxy or a galaxy cluster, bends the path of light as it travels through space. This bending of light creates a lensing effect where the massive object acts as a gravitational lens. The gravitational lensing phenomenon can have several observable effects. Strong lensing. In cases where the alignment is precise, the light from a background object, such as a more distant galaxy, is bent and focused by the gravitational field of the foreground object. This can result in the formation of multiple images of the background object, creating arcs, rings, or even complete Einstein rings around the foreground mass. Weak lensing. When the gravitational lensing effect is subtle, it causes a slight distortion in the shapes of background objects without producing multiple images. This distortion is often measured statistically over a large population of background objects, revealing information about the distribution of dark matter in the foreground mass. Microlensing. This occurs when a compact object, such as a star, passes in front of a more distant light source. The gravitational field of the foreground star acts as a lens, causing a temporary increase in brightness of the background source. Microlensing is often used to detect and study objects like dark matter in our galaxy. Gravitational lensing provides a powerful tool for astronomers to study the distribution of matter in the universe, including both visible matter, such as galaxies and galaxy clusters, and invisible dark matter. It has been used to confirm the existence of dark matter, map the mass distribution in galaxy clusters, and even discover and study distant galaxies that would otherwise be too faint to observe directly. Astronomers had previously revealed a surprising discovery in 2019. A stellar explosion, or supernova, within MRG Miro 138, captured by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope in 2016. Upon scrutinizing the 2023 images from the Webb Telescope, another group of astronomers made an astonishing revelation. Seven years later, the same galaxy hosted a second supernova. This marks a groundbreaking occurrence the first time that two gravitationally lensed supernova have been identified within the same galaxy, as explained by Justin Perel, a NASA Einstein Fellow at the Space Telescope Science Institute, and Andrew Newman, a staff astronomer at the observatories of the Carnegie Institution for Science. When a supernova erupts behind a gravitational lens, its light takes various paths to reach Earth, akin to multiple trains departing from a station simultaneously each traversing distinct routes and arriving at different times. The disparate arrival times of gravitationally lensed supernova images offer a unique opportunity to measure the history of the universe's expansion rate, known as the Hubble constant, an essential cosmological challenge. However, such multiply image supernovae are exceedingly rare, with fewer than a dozen identified until now. The 2016 supernova in MRG M0138, named Requiem, was particularly noteworthy within this exclusive group. Situated 10 billion light-years away, Requiem belonged to the type Ia supernova category, commonly used as a standard candle for measuring cosmic distances. 
models indicated that one of the supernova images would be significantly delayed due to its trajectory through the extreme gravity of the cluster, becoming visible only in the mid-2030s. Unfortunately, Requiem was discovered in 2019, long after it had faded, preventing the collection of sufficient data to measure the Hubble constant at that time. Now, a second gravitationally lensed supernova named Supernova Encore has been serendipitously discovered within the same galaxy as Requiem. Actively monitored through a time-critical director's discretionary program using web telescope images, Encore is confirmed to be a type Ia supernova, a standard candle. This discovery positions Encore and Requiem as the most distant pair of standard candle supernova siblings ever identified. Supernovae are typically unpredictable, but in this unique case, astronomers have a precise time frame and location to observe the final appearances of Requiem and Encore. Infrared observations around 2035 are anticipated to capture their last moments, providing a new and precise measurement of the Hubble constant. The left panel displays a 2016 image from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, featuring three visible instances of the multiply image supernova, Requiem, in a distant galaxy lensed by the galaxy cluster Max J0138. A fourth image is expected to appear in 2035. The right panel, captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope in November 2023, reveals a second multiply image supernova, Encore, in the same galaxy, marking the first known system to produce more than one multiply image supernova.